Hi students, welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. In this video session, we shall study percents and fractions. Uh, our vocabulary words in this video will be percent, then we have fraction, and then we will look at what this word means. Of, we will look at what it means when we see some questions that involve the word of. We will see what it means. We know that percent of something means that thing out of 100. If I have 20 percent, it means 20 out of 100. If I have 35 percent, it means 35 out of 100. If I have 40 percent, it means 40 out of 100. If I have Mr. C's percent, it will be Mr. C out of 100. So, and when we do that out of 100, it means we are now expressing it as a fraction. So you see, it is related. Percent is related to fraction. Because a fraction, basically a fraction has something out of something. It is part out of a whole. So, of course that part is the numerator and then the whole is the denominator. So, you see the relationship between percent and fraction. Because percent means something out of 100, it already gives us a fraction. So, when we want to convert percent to fraction, the first thing we do is we divide by 100. We divide by 100. And then, we will have to simplify our answer as a fraction. Then we simplify our answer as a fraction. Then, what if we are given a fraction and then expected to convert it to percent? That means we will do the opposite. We will now multiply by 100. Then we will simplify our answer and then we will write the unit after our answer, that is percent. Percent is the unit. So, what do we use this for? Percent is used every time. Like, you say maybe that uh, the percentage of Latino voters that voted for Barack Obama was uh, maybe 71 percent. You have mentioned percent. When you say there is 50 percent chance of snow, you have used percent. So, there are so many applications that we use percent, right? And of course, your sales tax, you go to the store to buy something, you ask them, what is the sales tax? They tell you it's 10% or 9%, okay? Now, to convert fraction to percent, we have to multiply by 100, then, we simplify and then we write we write percent after our answer we write percent after our answer okay so that is the basics all right then when we see the word of it simply means multiplication anytime you see that word of it means multiplication Okay, we can get started by solving the questions on the right-hand side. Question 1, find 30% of 90. So that tells you 30% of 90. We know that 30%, this 30%, what does it mean? It means 30 out of 100. Then this off right here, the off, what does of mean? It means multiplication. I will use this sign as my multiplication. And then 90. So you have 30 out of 100 times 90. So all you need to do is to simplify this fraction. There are two ways we can multiply fraction. We can either simplify, then we multiply, or we can multiply, then we simplify. If we if we simplify first, then we will look at the numerator, the numerator of the fractions. 
we have 30 and then we have 90 as the numerators then the denominators we have 100 and we have 1 so the good thing about simplifying first before you multiply is that you take care of all simplifying uh, uh, things you need to do okay so you check is there anything that can divide the numerator and the denominator without a remainder 10 can divide 30 to give us 3 10 can divide 100 to give us 10 then 10 can divide 10 to give us 1 10 can divide 90 to give us 9 so you see now for our numerators we have 3 times 9 all over for our denominator we have 1 times 1 and that gives you 27 out of 1 which is 27 but you might not be used to this method there is another way you can do it or you can multiply then you simplify you can do 30 out of 100 times 90 over 1 so this gives you 30 times 90 all over 100 times 1 and that gives you 2700 divided by 100 and then you can go ahead and divide both sides by 100 whatever you do to the numerator you also do to the denominator and that will give you 27 over 1 which is 27 so you can either simplify then multiply or you can multiply then simplify I choose to use this method because it saves me the stress of simplifying after multiplying. So the answer is 27. Alright, number 2. What is 18 one quarter percent of 800? So we have 18 1 over 4 percent of 800. So this means 18 1 over 4 divided by 100 that is what it means the of means times and then 800 you can write 800 over 1 because that is what it means okay let's deal with this mix this is a mixed number so let us deal with this mixed number first how do we deal with this mixed number first we can write a space so that we can do our rough work we have 18 1 over 4 let us convert this mixed number to an improper fraction so this will be 4 times 18 which will give us a 72 72 plus 1 will give us 73 over 4 now when you now do 73 over 4 divided by 100 right this will give you 73 over 4 divided by 100 over 1 which will give you 73 over 4 times 1 over 100 and we cannot simplify further so this will give us 73 times 1 is 73 4 times 100 is 400 so this gives us 73 over 400 times 800 over 1 you can multiply then simplify or the way i choose to do i want to simplify then multiply i will see that 400 can divide 400 it gives me one 400 divide 800 gives me two so this will now be 73 times two all over one times one which i know gives me one so this will give me 146 and that is my answer 146 okay the next one number three it says write 80 percent as a fraction so we see that 80 percent means what 80 out of 100 and of course we can now simplify this we divide by 100 then we simplify our answer so this if you simplify this you can divide this by 10 divide this by 10 it gives you 8 over 10 
because whatever you do to the numerator, you also do to the denominator. Then you can go ahead and divide this by 2. Divide this again by 2. It gives you 4 over 5. And you can't divide anymore. Okay? So that's number 3. The answer is 4 over 5. The next one, number 4, it says, of all Americans who use a mobile phone, about two in five subscribe to the wireless internet. What percent of mobile phone users is this? So that two in five means two out of five. Okay, so this is the same way of telling, this is telling you convert, what, fra, what is the percent of two out of five. That's convert two out of five to percent. Convert two, because this means two in five, it means two out of five, two percent. So what do we do? We multiply by 100, right? And of course, five can divide five to give us one. Five divide 100 gives us two. And that is 40, then we put percent. We make sure we multiply by 100, we simplify, then we write percent after our answer. Okay? And then the last one. Write 3 over 3 as percent. So this is 3 out of 3 times what? 100 over 1. So 3, of course, 3 divided 3 is 1, and this gives you 100%. Thank you so much for listening, students, and you have a good day.